Do you recall the seismic shift that occurred in the stock market back in 1929? The impact was so significant that it's still discussed nearly a century later. But how does it stack up against the market we're navigating today in 2023? Let's embark on a journey through time, comparing and contrasting the two eras to gain a better understanding of the forces that shape our financial landscape. October 29, 1929, a day that would forever be etched in our collective memory as Black Tuesday. The Wall Street crash of 1929 marked the beginning of the Great Depression, a decade-long economic downturn that brought widespread unemployment and poverty. In a span of just two days, investors lost more than $14 billion. The market wouldn't recover to its pre-crash highs until 1954, a staggering 25 years later. Fast forward to today, the year 2023. We navigate a vastly different landscape shaped by advancements in technology and globalization. However, echoes of the past reverberate through the halls of Wall Street. Prominent investor Jeremy Grantham has warned of a major bubble in financial markets predicting steeper declines in U.S. stocks. He sees parallels between the current market and past financial crises, warning of simultaneous bubbles in the stock and real estate markets, reminiscent of Japan's experience in the 90s. So what are the key similarities between the two eras? Both periods witnessed an extraordinary rise in stock prices, fueled by speculation and an influx of new investors. Both were marked by a sense of invincibility, a belief that the market could only go up, and both culminated in a dramatic crash, a sobering reminder of the cyclical nature of markets. Now let's explore the differences. The crash of 1929 was triggered by a myriad of factors, including poor banking structures, lack of regulations, and a culture of excessive speculation. Today, while we grapple with potential bubbles, our financial system is arguably more robust, buttressed by stronger regulations, better risk management, and more sophisticated financial instruments. Moreover, the market crash of 1929 was followed by a decade-long depression. While today, many experts predict a potential downturn, but not necessarily a prolonged one. There are also major macroeconomic differences, such as inflation rates, interest rates, and global economic conditions. To summarize, while there are undeniable parallels between the stock market of 1929 and today's market, there are also significant differences. History may not repeat itself, but it often rhymes, and by understanding the past, we can better prepare for the future. As investors, it's essential we remain vigilant, informed, and adaptable, ready to navigate the ever-changing currents of the financial world.